In the year 20XX AD, the first annual robot tournament was held. with eight of the world's most powerful robots, but... Mr. X, the sponsor of the tournament, took control of the robots and began to take over the world. Mr. X, why? It's time to tell you the truth. I have been manipulating that fool Dr. Wily from the beginning. But now I no longer need Dr. Wily's help. Come and face my power, Mega Man. We'll stop you. Follow me, Rush. Is it me, or does Mr. X look kind of familiar? Eh, I don't know. And on that note, what's happening, guys? I'm Speedy Spectrum, and welcome to my playthrough of Mega Man 6, the last NES game in the classic lineup. Released in 1993, one year after Mega Man X appeared on the Super Nintendo. A lot of people didn't get the chance to play Mega Man 6 because they were already playing Mega Man X. And after the reception of 5, it's understandable why they didn't gravitate to it. Thankfully, Mega Man 6, in my opinion, is one of the stronger entries in the series. Once again, we have 8 Robot Masters to choose from. Most players tend to start with either Flame Man or Plant Man because their stages are relatively simple. I, however, am going to start with a different Robot Master. I'm going to switch things up a little bit. In my opinion, the easiest Robot Master in Mega Man 6 is Night Man. Time to head to the capital of science. I don't know why that area is referred to as such, because it's clearly a castle. We also have some pretty epic music going on here. That enemy we just destroyed is a twin rotor. It pretty much rides along the floor. Nothing more, nothing less. Unfortunately, we cannot get this extra life, because we have no way of destroying that cracked block. Yet. We will have to come back here once we get said upgrade, because there's an old friend waiting for us once we do. That enemy is known as Brown. I have no idea why. Maybe because of the brown barrel it's in? It beats the heck out of me. And that drill enemy is known as Molier. It rushes across the floor in pursuit of Mega Man. It should be worth noting that all eight Robot Masters are based in a real-world location. In the case of Nightman, he's from England, which is why we're inside a medieval castle. Another new enemy, Tatibo. Tatibo is a little annoying. It lobs a shot at you, then it moves its shield up and shoots you again. The only time to nail it is when its shield rises. And say hello to Skullwalker, except it's jumping instead of walking. That's logical. Hey, it's the return of everybody's favorite mechanic from Dr. Wily's castle in Mega Man 5, Conveyor Belts. I don't need to say any more about that. Let's just say it brings back nightmares. Once again, pay attention which direction the conveyor belts are spinning and then jump accordingly. After all, what Mega Man game wouldn't be complete without the pending threat of death spikes? Let's just hope I have better luck in this game than the last one. Anyways, we're roughly halfway done with the stage. Wait until he shoots and then jump down, because otherwise you're gonna head right into the spikes. And that's not good. Overall, Nightman's stage is fairly simple, which is another good reason why you might want to start off with the stage. Hey, Eddie! How's it going? And you were kind enough to provide me with an extra life. I approve. And take a look, it's nighttime already. Oh, we also have another new enemy. This is a brain break. When you shoot it, it will go ballistic. So you need to do your best to shoot it again before it crashes into you. 
And just like the cracked walls, we sadly have no way of getting to that E-Tank. Yet. Again, we need to reunite with an old friend. And that ceiling crawling robot is known as SW525. Nothing special about that except the name. Alright! I hope you guys are ready to jump for joy because that's what we're doing. We're going to jump into these springs with these cyber gabioles strafing back and forth. Alright, I gotta time this right. Okay, that worked out well. They will rush you if you are on their level, so be extremely careful. And just like that, we've reached the end of the stage. Look closely, because there is a cracked block that we'll want to take note of when we return. I'm not sure when I'll do that. Presumably after I get the necessary upgrade. But for now, it's time for a joust with Nightman. And what an epic looking arena, I have to say, with those medieval banners hanging in the background. Nice. Nightman himself is really easy. He'll throw his wrecking ball at you, which is easily dodged. The main problem dealing with Nightman, though, is that shield of his. It will block your buster shots, and it blocks most attacks now that I think about it. No! Oh, jeez, you're being a little aggressive, aren't you? Okay, thank you very much for not running into me. Another good strategy to deal with Nightman is to uh, get be is to shoot behind him. I gotta oh, fake me out there, dude. And yeah, I probably could have handled that a little better. Let's try that again. I say he's really easy, and of course I die against him because the Let's Play curse is alive and well. You might want to consider uh, getting a charge shot off of him before you even enter the room. And you're just content on throwing that mace, aren't you? His weakness is in fact the Yamato Spear, which can be obtained in Yamato Man's stage. And if you do have the Yamato Spear, it can actually penetrate his shield. But even if you don't have his weakness, he is fairly easy. Because look, I've reduced him to half of his health already. How I lost against him the first time, no one knows. Well, actually I know, it's because I'm an idiot, plain and simple. Just be patient with the buster shots, and try and get behind him before you shoot. That's really the best advice I can give. Our first Robot Master defeated! And you know what that means! We're getting our very first weapon! How about that? We've got the Night Crusher! The Night Crusher fires a wrecking ball in front of Mega Man. Plain and simple. One Robot Master down, and seven to go. See you guys next time.